Hi, welcome to the video guide for the nozzle height calibration on your Race 3D Pro 2 Series 3D printer. Okay, let's get started. First, home the build plate. And set the movement increment to 10 millimeters. This will be located in the Move Steps bar on the top of the screen. Press the down arrow 25 times to drop the build plate's height to 250 millimeters. Then, set both extruders to the proper unloading temperature. The recommended target temperature is typically 5 to 10 degrees Celsius higher than its common printing temperature. Press unload to begin the unloading process. After the unloading process has completed, remove the filament and filament guide tube from the extruder. Next, open the Home tab and click on the nozzle temperature. In the new window, set the temperatures for both nozzles to zero and press OK. Allow the components to cool down completely before continuing. When the extruders reach an ambient temperature, power off the printer. Remove the screws from the cooling fan with a 2.5 mm hex wrench. Push the hot end all the way up until the heat sink touches the collet. Cure this position by tightening the clamping screw depicted in the photo below. Remove the screws from the cooling fan on the right side. Loosen the screw marked in red with a 2.5 mm hex wrench. Push the hot end all the way up until the heat sink touches the collet. Secure this position by tightening the clamping screw. Raise the Z-limit pin by rotating the bottom screw one turn counterclockwise from a top-down perspective. Heat the hot end to 180 degrees Celsius or to the temperature of the loaded filament from the home screen. Activate the left nozzle by selecting it in the Utilities screen and pressing the up or down arrows in the Utilities tab. Select the Z-axis Home button to move the bed into the original position. Disable the motor with the Disable Motor button located in the top left of the screen. This will allow you to freely reposition the extruder by hand. Move the extruder head along the rods into the center position. Use the feeler gauge included in the printer toolkit and place it underneath the left nozzle. When properly calibrated, the feeler gauge should have friction between the bed and nozzle. To adjust the nozzle height, rotate the large thumb screw as depicted in the diagram. Do not adjust the smaller side mounted screw. Please remember, adjustments should be made incrementally. Changes in height will not be visible until after homing. Home the Z-axis, then verify the new height using the feeler gauge. Homing is required each time the knob is adjusted. Repeat until the desired result is achieved. From the home screen, heat the right nozzle to 180 degrees Celsius. Enable the right nozzle by pressing the icon, then the down arrow. Once the nozzle is enabled, set the temperatures to zero and allow them to cool completely before continuing. Once the hot end has cooled completely, insert the feeler gauge under the right nozzle and check for the proper height. If the nozzle needs further adjustments, loosen the setting screw 
and manually move the hot end until it is able to come into contact with the feeler gauge. Do not adjust the bed height. Tighten the screw into this position. Okay, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at help at raise3d.com.